In this video, I'm going to talk about an online streaming radio player app or application that's used in Linux called Radio Tray. Now, before I actually start it up, it's found in your sound and video at, on Ubuntu Mate if you got it set up to the traditional menu. Here's Radio Tray. Before I actually execute it and it load in the system tray, let me show you my website. And if you found this video on YouTube, I'll provide a link below. Now, I'm not going to install it on this video because on my website, I show you the step by step instructions for installing Radio Tray. And I even show you how you can remove it if you decide it in the future or after you install it. If you don't like it, how you can remove it. Now, before I bring it up, here's what the icon in the, uh, in the system tray will look like. And when it's gray, or as you can see in the image here, it's turned off. And if you click onto it, it will display whether or not it's on or off. And you should be able to hear through your speakers if you're on a laptop through your speakers on your laptop or if you're on a laptop with external speakers plugged into it you'll hear them across your external speakers or if you're on a desktop system you'll hear it coming across your speakers now you can select whatever genre of music and you can categorize it by putting the categories you can place the individual stations like within subfolders. Now I know they're really not folders, but they kind of are, and I'll explain that in a few moments. So if you like country music, yeah, and you can organize it however you want, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But here, you, where it says turn off, up here at the top, you basically click onto it, and you turn the station on. And when it's broadcasting with colorful icons, or in this, this case, the blue waves that you see here, that indicating that the radio station's turned on. And then you can go into preference to configure your radios or your channels. So for some reason, like if you don't like the chill topic, you can take it out and remove the stations or add stations within it. Uh, here is what your configuration dialog box will look like so that you can add a group you can add, a, or this is add a channel. This is to add a group. You can put a separator where you put bars, a line between each of those. Like if you got like a several different topics that are similar, you could put a line where the genres start to uh, differ. You can edit where you can click on a name and you can edit it by changing the name. Or if you drop down and where you've got a station, you can edit the station to change the individual station name. You can highlight a station, and this is like what it looks like. These are closed where you're looking just at the groups, not the channels within the groups. Here is where I clicked on like country up here, and I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, where you click country, it drops down, and you see the individual country stations that are streaming across this particular app. Now, not all of these are in your default. And I'll show you in just a moment how you can download what I've configured uh, because a lot of the default stations do not work. And it's been a, about a year ago when I added these stations. So you may find a station that doesn't work. And if so, you just click on that station that doesn't work and click remove. And then I'll show you how you can add stations to the genre or you can create, create your own genre. Now, by default, you're going to see a station called Boot Liquor. Now, that's a funny name and that's okay. But uh, as a way of showing you how you can change the name, you just click the edit menu and where it said boot liquor, you choose change it to whatever. I changed it to Americana, click save, and the name boot liquor changes to Americana. So if you look down through here, I show you how to add channels, how to add stations to your topics, how to add topics, and like how to add, for example, Alabama's Finest Radio, how you can put the URL in it so that it will stream that channel when you click onto that channel within the sub menu. Now I will say for example for the Dirty South I didn't realize it at the time I was creating this but when I clicked onto it uh, there's a lot of lyrics that may not be appropriate for young children so if you've got children uh, and you're an adult you may want to leave that particular channel off. I was doing it as an example and then I didn't realize that some songs that play on that channel uh, can be a little inappropriate. But now I created my my playlist and I put it in Google Drive and I put it in my Dropbox. So you can download those from my Dropbox or Google Drive. And this is the original menu when you first install it by default. The channels and the organization they look like. I reorganized them where it, I, you have more topics with more channels inside of them. And I took out a lot of dead links and like I said it was about a year ago when I did this uh, website here. So you may find that there are some channels since I've created it that's not working. But what you do when you download one of these bookmarks from either the Google Drive or Dropbox, and you can just choose one, you don't have to do them both, you're going to download a file called bookmarks.xml and it should go to your downloads folder or wherever you download it from. 
you're going to copy that into a folder uh, that's in your, your home folder with my name. You're going to go to Show Hidden Files, and I'll show you this. You go to your where your name is at, go to View. You're going to say Show Hidden Files. You're going to look for an, a folder called .local. So if you look in alphabetical order, here's the .local. Then you're going to open up a shared folder, and in your shared folder, you're going to find Radio Tray. So here's the Radio Tray folder, and if you look, you've got four different files along with a folder inside. This is your bookmarks folder. So inside of this, if you replace the bookmarks folder that you download, it's going to contain the channels that you see on my website. And this is for you if you add or delete channels, it's going to add and delete them from the bookmarks. So it works like bookmarks within your browser. And I know it looks like an Internet Explorer extension here. It's kind of because I've got kind of a Windows theme folder within my Kaha File Manager. So for the XML, it looks like an Internet Explorer icon. Your icon may differ depending upon your icon theme on your system. But anyhow, you're going to replace what's in your downloads and you're going to replace your the bookmarks.xml folder in your radio tray folder. And when you do that and close it, and it may prompt you for do you want to replace it, just click replace. And the next time you uh, start up your radio tray, if you currently have it running, I recommend you to, to disable it. So next time you uh, enable it, you'll have the new channel list instead of the default channels. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can add channels. Before I do, let me go ahead and start it. Let me minimize everything. Let me go to Applications, Sound and Video, and I'm going to click on Radio Tray. Now, by default, when it loads, it loads with it off. To turn it on, just basically left click with your mouse, and you see where it says Turn Off. Uh, you just double click, or you can right click. Or you choose a genre first. I don't have a station, that's my fault. So if I go to like country music, I can click on any of those and it will actually turn it on. So if I click a local channel, WSOC FM 103, it'll start playing it. Now I'm not going to let it play long because I'll get a copyright infringement uh, this warning on my video. So I'll click it, let you hear it, and then I'll turn my master volume down because I'm going to explain how you can add channels to your list and I'll explain this list here. So let me click to turn it on and it'll turn blue. There it goes. Now I'm turning it down. You can hear it plays. So I'm turning the volume all the way down. I'm muting my overall volume. But if you see here, I can turn off now. Once you've turned the station on, you can turn it off uh, by clicking here. But now you can see in the background it's still playing. Uh, I can go through here and click on other channels and switch my channels. I've got pop rock. I've got the 80s channels. And I like listening to a lot of the 80s. Here's some classic rock that I do like to listen to as well. But if you look, uh, I've got four channels in my easy listening uh, radio. Now when you look up here, that just shows you a lot of times that it changes songs. So you can also go on the features where as it changes songs, you can go on the preferences and turn off that little display if you don't like it uh, showing what channels that's currently playing and the songs as they change. You can turn that feature off. But let's say for example, I wanted to add a channel in my e easy listening. Let's say it's late at night and I want to have some smooth music in the background while either I'm playing a game or reading something online, uh, what I can do is I can go to my website. I can scroll all the way down until you can see where my little scroll bar is on the right hand side until it says if you'd like to add more stations you can find all types of streaming music from the links below. I got Shoutcast, Internet Radio, uh, the, the DI or the directories of XIPH.org, and online radio. I'm going to just go with the top one. Any of these, and there's more websites than these. These are just the four that I picked out. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. This is the directory of them. And let's say that if I want to go to easy listening, I click here. Let's say that I want some light rock, since I do like classic rock and the 80s rock. Let's say I click on light rock. Now, I want to first, before I download the file, I want to first find out if the channel works. So they have a player here on the website that you can click and see if it plays. So I'm going to click on it temporarily. Oh, I've got my audio turned down. I don't want to have both going, so I'm going to go turn this one off because if I turn the volume up, this one's going to be playing along with this one. It'll have two music in the background. So I'm going to turn it up slightly because I muted my volume. And it plays. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this again so I'm not competing with my sound. I'm going to turn the sound off. So I know that cool FM hits in the Philippines and the uh, Pony or Pini, whatever that is. I'm going to go ahead and download that file. 
And here's where you get three options, the PLS extension, the M3U extension, and the open format. I recommend that you can download the M3U extension, but if you look up here at the top of my website, it will tell you the type of extensions that it supports. It supports the M3U, the PLS, so it can support the PLS, which is the top one. The, it can support ASX, the WAX, and the w a VX. So it has a multiple formats that it can support, but one of the popular ones across the internet is the M3U. So if you download the M3U, just click this one, it's going to download it to your download folder. So you can say, hit open, and I've already opened it while I go. So you can see, here's my original one, and here's the one I just recently downloaded. So I can delete this one. I don't need two of them, so I can say, send to the trash can. And here's that tune-in station that's the easy listening. Now, if you right-click on it, you can open it with your text editor to get the link from it. So if I right-click, I can say, open with gedit. You don't have to use gedit. You can use any text editor. Here's the link to the e uh, easy listening streamable site. So what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, radio tray icon at the top. Let me go ahead and close this out and I can go ahead and minimize my browser. I can clear out my download, close this, and I can minimize this in case I need to come back and get that again. I'm going to open up my radio tray. I'm going to go to my preferences and I'm going to say configure radios. And when the configure radios dialog box come up, since I'm adding a channel to the easy listening, I'm going to select easy listening and I want to edit this. I'm not going to add a group. Uh, I'm not really going to edit the title. I'm just going to add a song or channel list or a channel to the list within the easy listening. So I hit add. When it does, it says to add a new station dialog box. Here's the URL. I just simply copy the URL from the site that I downloaded. And sometimes you may have to go into the HTML on the website to get the link that's streaming. All you do is just copy that link, go where it says add new station, and if for some reason you actually had the wrong group selected, the thing I like about this is you can drop down and choose the group that you meant to select. You don't have to hit cancel and go back into it. Now the name, this is where you can change the name if you want to. Like I put the cool FM hits uh, 901 the Philippines. So if I come up here, I right click paste and I hit save. Now when I close this out and I go back to my radio tray, when I go to easy listening, it's at the bottom. Now if I go back to my preferences, I can put them in alphabetical order by coming into a, where it says easy listening. They're dra drag and droppable. So for cool, it should be under chill time. So if I click onto this, I can drag it and drop it underneath chill time. So when I close it now, it'll be in alphabetical order. Now that's a long radio stash, station. So if I want to, I can say edit and I can take out uh, the hits and say cool FM 901, put a space. And if I don't want that last part, I can just say in the Philippines. So when I hit save, it now shortens it up to where it's not very long. You know, if you've got a very tight space up here and don't want something long extending it, you can shorten it down to kind of keep them even with what's on your list. So when I hit close and I go back to radio tray, if I look at my easy listening here, cool FM, now I'm going to close out this one now since I have it added. I can always go back to it with the link on my website. So that way when I turn it on, I want to hear if it's working. So I go to the cool FM 901 to Philippines. I'll click, let it turn blue. Now I'm going to turn up my volume temporarily to see if it's playing. And you can see that it is. It even tells you the name of the station. Then it'll start scrolling a little bit, tell you the name of the song. And you saw that already displayed. And in a few moments, it'll go away and you can click the X. It may come back, especially when it changes song. It will show you the next artist and song that they play. But I'll turn it up temporarily. And you can hear it's playing. So I'm going to go back and mute it. So the station that we added under Easy Listening is our cool FMs. So under your preferences, and I show you more about this, where you can change the name of your topics, where you can delete your group topics, you can add songs, you can remove songs, and you can even add plugins with the station. Now I've never added a plugin to it. I've never seen the need for adding a plugin, but at nighttime it's very neat. Like if I'm sitting and I'm playing uh, a game or something like solitaire or something or reading I might put some easy listening on there and turn the volume up just a little bit where it's not bothering me but it's playing in the background uh, and that's a nice feature to have so if you like listening to online stations 
like I said, you don't have to listen to the stations that I listen to, but if you download my bookmarks, it'll give you a starting point for not having as many dead channels or dead links from the default. So hopefully, if you like online or list, like listening to online radio, uh, this will be a tool or an application that you might install in your system, or at least to try it out. Now, in the future, I will put some more uh, software like P Pythos uh, that I also like to use, and I'll do a video on sometime soon about how to use that. Uh, hopefully, this been, video has been helpful to you, and have a great day.